Hey guys, it's Ethan. I just wanted to make a quick video today talking about setting up something like um, DWM and your compositor for gaming. Because on Linux, people don't really, I guess, understand a lot of the time how a compositor works. Or at least how it works in the context of gaming. Now on Windows, when you full screen a game, you'll notice like your screen might go black for a second or it might like turn off and on. Or you'll just have some kind of weird effect. But then when your game is finally full screen, things are a lot smoother. You'll see the 144 hertz in the actual game. And things seem to work better. And a lot of people, when they get onto Linux and they have something like PyCom running, they notice that their game always seems to run at like a weird refresh rate or like weird 60 FPS. And I'm going to talk to you really quickly about how to deal with this. So first of all, we're going to be using PyCom for this because it's a very simple compositor. And inside of your config file for PyCom, which is located in your home folder .config, PyCom, and it's PyCom.conf, you want to add these two lines if they're not already there. And what these basically do, it's these, I don't know if I said two, these couple lines right here, you can add them. Uh, you need to basically modify them so they look like this. And what these do is, I guess the best way is to show you, you see right now how I'm compositing. You can see the background of this window is transparent. If on another screen I full screen something, so let's say I full screen OBS, the compositing effect on all other things turn off. And the reason that this is helpful is because when you're compositing a game itself, so say you're running, say you're running something like Counter Strike, and you full screen the game, but compositing effects are still running on that window and all the windows around it things get kind of choppy and you'll definitely notice that it's going to be stuck at like 60 hertz and this is what's basically going to deal with that this little bit right here when you full screen the game all other windows besides this one are going to stop being composited so if i open up another window on the side no compositing effects but now there's another thing that we need to do here and it's for your window manager now i'm going to be showing you in my case dwm but you might be using something else, so you're going to have to kind of figure it out for your window manager or your desktop environment. But if you're using a desktop environment, this should be done for you automatically. So by default, window managers don't come with like a native full screen like this, like an actual full screen that goes above everything. So if you head over to your config, and I'm going to go over to my DWM config, and head down, I have it set to mod F, which is alt F for me. I have toggle full screen down here, and what you basically need for this is, uh, I'm going to go to it right now, let me make this big for you, right here there's this actual full screen patch, this is what you're looking for, and I'll leave a link to the patch that I used in this video, but you're going to need a patch GWM to actually have a full screen to it. Otherwise, this thing won't work because I believe that DWM does come with like a monocle mode. I don't think I have it set up. I don't think I have it enabled still. I just have tiling and a full screen. But with actual full screen, it's going to work kind of like Windows full screen, except without the big old flicker and all that stuff. And it's literally just going to full screen the program. And it's going to come up as, yeah, we've, we're full screen. So the compositor with that line that we added will kick in. And everything should work fine. And there shouldn't be any problems with that. So hopefully that helps if you're having troubles with gaming, especially on Linux with like a window manager. I know that it can be kind of annoying sometimes. So, yeah, I hope this helped you. If you enjoyed it, let me know if you have any questions if you need me to like change something about the format to make this easier to follow, if you have any suggestions, anything, leave it in the comments. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.